we're just gonna try this. All right, so hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Click the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I'm trying something different. I am trying to hide my mess behind me <laughs> without having to go nuts cleaning it before I shoot a video. Yes, I know. Why don't I just keep it not messy to begin with? Well, meh. Not that I don't want to, guys. Just life happens, and anyways, not to make excuses. But yeah, no, it's it's a bit of a mess, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to give this a try, see if this works. It's a little bit weird because it's kind of blurring out my earrings too, so that's going to be something to consider. And um, no, I'm not going to give you a sneak peek on how messy my background is. It's, it's, it's not like horrific, but it's not clean either. Anyways, to the point, today I am doing a product first impression and review on our newest Neon line. Neon? Neon line. That's right. Avon has jumped onto the Neon train. We are with the trends and Neon is all the rage. I've been pushing back doing this video for two reasons. One, because of the mess back there and two because i have no idea how to really use neon makeup the only thing i have experience with is probably just doing some colored mascara in high school and i loved it i had like green mascara blue mascara sparkly mascara absolutely loved it so i am really excited for the mascara the liner i'm a little bit nervous about but i think it's gonna be fun to try so as you can see i have a very neutral face on today i don't have a lot of makeup on um, I just have a little bit of concealer. I have a little sheer layer of the Magix tint on in light medium and we're going to town with neon colors today. I was doing a little bit of research on how to make neon colors wearable besides on your lips. I mean you guys know me. I love bright color lips, nude color lips. I love lip products. So wearing neon on my lips doesn't make me nervous at all. It's more like everywhere else on my face that I haven't really tried. I saw some beautiful, beautiful techniques that I will probably play with on days I have less online meetings. <laughs> but uh, for the purpose of today's video, I am sharing with you the Right Bright Eyeliner in, in Blazing Blue and the Electric Lash Mascara in power purple ah, i'm really really excited about this so why i'm really excited about the mascara is because it is in the formula of the love at first lash mascara which is absolutely hands down my absolute favorite mascara in the world right now i have it in both the original and i have the waterproof one anyways i also have the waterproof one which i have no idea where it is right now which is kind of weird because i just saw it yesterday I was going to do another video on that, but anyways, yeah, but this is my absolute favorite mascara in the world, and now it comes in purple. It also comes in blue, but I only ordered the purple one to test and share it with you guys today. Avon has a couple of products in within the neon line, including the Neon's Rule lipstick, uh, and that comes in two different shades, such as the Electric Pink, the Red Light, the Right Bright, which comes in both a blue and a green, and then the Electric Lash Mascara in both the purple and the blue. So I have two of the products today, so this should actually be a pretty quick video. So again, I have a very light layer of color on today and on my cheeks for the blush instead of using something that's super pigmented i did opt to use the moisture cushion blush in the pink o2 which is a collaboration for avon and the face shop love that blush it is amazing it just gives this beautiful dewy flush to my face so it makes me look like i'm not like the walking dead Let's start off with the liner because mascara I usually use do last anyways. I love how bright the packaging is. It is really pretty. There has there is a rip tab here, so I'm just going to go ahead and rip that off. Makes it easy to open. And what I find really intriguing is that you can feel it here. It feels like one of those like Ziploc tabs, and I don't know why. It literally is like a Ziploc. Look at that. Or like a catfish. Whoa! Do you see that color in there? Check that out. Holy crap. Wow, it is very right bright. I cannot say that. At first I was thinking that it's going to be closer to our glimmer sticks, but it's not, which is the, it's like the twist up pencil. It's not really a pencil, but it's the twist up kind. This is more of a liquid liner and I am horrible with these, but I'm going to swatch it for you guys first. Let's check this out. Wow, that color is stunning. Oh my God, look at that. 
Look at that. Wow. That is gorgeous. So it guided on really easily. It was like so easy to apply. We're going to try this on my eyes. So <laughs> wish me luck. They have like these, these things where you can do like this crazy graphic liner, which I think is stunning, but I know I'll never maybe be able to make it even. Wow. Look at that color. Surprisingly, it's showing up a little bit brighter on my wrist than on my eye. I think for two reasons. One is I do have a little bit of, of uh, eyeshadow on in a nude color, but also at the same time, I think naturally my skin on the back of my wrist is a little bit lighter than on my eyelid. Let's see if I can make it like more pigmented with another layer of color. The color is gorgeous. Really, really, really gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to do the other side. Okay. I can never get them even. That's the thing. Like, never get them even. I don't know if it's because I take too long, but I find that with liner, it kind of runs out before I'm done on the other side. Yeah, like, you see? I think I'm just, I'm too slow when I talk. So I'm going to let this rest for a bit. Oh, yeah, much better. So I just have to lay back flat. So when you guys store this, store it either this way or flat. Okay, I'm really struggling with this, guys. I'm struggling to get the pigment the same intensity on both sides. And we'll have a chat about that in a minute. Okay, let's leave that for now. All right, so now we are going on into the mascara. So yeah, you can see that the 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 intensity of the color is very different from my first eye and my second eye. I'm going to let it rest a little bit and see if that makes a difference. Hopefully it does. Really hopefully it does. But let's go move on into the uh, mascara. Oh my god, look at this this is hot 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 oh my god i love it 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 i love purple love purple i love it take a look at the brush itself mm. look at that oh my god that's gorgeous that is gorgeous this is gonna be so pretty so there's a couple of looks that i used to do in high school <laughs> Going back to my high school days for makeup advice, just sure, why not? I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing anyways. So one way to do it is that you can just use this on your naked lash. You can do one or two layers. Check that out. Wow. How fun is that? I'm also going to do my lower lashes. Lower lashes is something I actually normally never, ever do. But, I mean, you can also pair it with a liner and it just gives you more of a like more intense pop of color. It's so subtle. This is very definitely super wearable neon, guys. Like super wearable pop of color. It is insanely subtle. So subtle that I don't even know if you can see it in the in the in the video. So this half of my face has a good amount of the liner and one coat of the mascara. I am gonna do another coat of the mascara because I do want to show you guys the how intense the color is. There we go. I think I'm getting my lashes lifted, guys. Anyone have experience with getting their lashes lifted? Oh yeah. With this, definitely get a second coat going. It's gorgeous. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take my finger and just press it up a little bit just to kind of curl my lashes a bit. I have super straight lashes. Even like an eyelash curler, it works, but it doesn't always stay. Usually I only do one layer of mascara. Oh my gosh, I am loving the color of this, guys. Definitely a beautiful pop of color. Love the mascara. Love, love, love the mascara. Neon, kind of neon. Just what, just one layer of the liner. I might even do a third layer. We'll see. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. I'm going to try the liner again. Yeah, I'm not getting the same intensity with the, with the liner. I am very, very disappointed. I am super disappointed, guys. Hmm. I don't know. I could be doing something wrong. Yeah, I'm not getting the same type of intensity. Like, look at. I want to be really excited about this product. I love the color of it. Like, I can only do one eye. Love the color of the liner. I'm going to have to figure out why, and I'm going to come back to you guys why it's doing that. I want to just keep it up right now. But let's do the other side. Now, another way that you can do the mascara is do a layer of the of your regular favorite black mascara, and mine is gonna be the Love at First Lash Mascara. And why I love this mascara is, I love the fact that it has um, nourishing properties, including like olive oil and vitamin E, and I think it's like lycopene. And I've noticed that my, my lashes have seemed longer 
and healthier than before. Like, look at that. Oh my god, I just love this mascara. It also has, like, fibers within it. Um, I think these have little, like, heart-shaped fibers and some other fibers to also help to lengthen your lashes to give you more pop. But look! Look at that! You do one layer and then let it dry. And then, while I let that dry, I'm going to do one more coat of the purple on this side. I love this. Like, I really love this purple. This purple is stunning. It's so fun. Okay, so now this side should be dry. So this has three coats now, and then this has just a little coat of black. But you can see also the difference in the intensity of color. Like, this side is just, it's very, very vibrant. Whereas this side is just the black, which is still nice. It's very classy. So then on this side, what I'm going to do for a just a little playful kiss of color, I'm just going to do the very, very tips of my lashes so i have the base color of black but all i'm gonna do is just do the very 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 little tiny tips it's a much more subtle and playful way now i'm gonna finish off this look with some um some bottom liner and some lipstick all right Verdict is I love the mascara. I think the mascara is really fun and really, really playful. The eyeliner, I absolutely love the color, how pigmented it is. I'm just, I'm very surprised as to why it kind of looked, felt like it dried out really quickly. Um, it could have been the way I was using it or the fact that I had it open and chatting for so long, but I'm going to store like this again, and then I'm probably going to order a replacement and do an update on that. Um, I read that if your liner is drying out, well, something else you can do is you can put it down, cap on, and just fill it with some hot hot water and that's supposed to help a little bit so we're gonna find out we're gonna try that too but yeah i love the mascara the mascara is ridiculously gorgeous i'm gonna go and take some pictures in some better lighting so hopefully you guys can see a better effect did a little bit of touch on the foundation and then i also finished up my lips with the rouge powder matte in rose powder it's just it's a beautiful matte shade um it's like a i think it's like a, yeah it's like a powder matte shade it wears really, really comfortably as well. But yeah, no, I'm loving, loving, loving this purple. Oh, I also used the, and they don't make this anymore either, the Avon uh, Coal Liner in Deep Velvet. Yeah, I, I love this color. I love the shade. I love how it wears. I love how it smudges because it comes with a smudger. I just, I love it. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will post up an update on the line and problem most likely on my instagram or on facebook so make sure you do follow me there all of my handles are down below and then also if you guys enjoy review videos like this make sure you do let me know by giving me a big fat thumbs up and let me know in the comments below how are you and if you are wearing neon are you doing with your clothes your jewelry or your makeup let me know in the comments below if you're new to this channel please do me a favor show me some love and hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification I do have new videos up every single week about beauty tips, business reviews, business tips, and more. If you're interested in becoming a beauty brand ambassador with Avon, please do not hesitate to reach out to me or join right away by clicking that join Avon button when you go into my e-store link and I will become your personal mentor. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.